imagine it's 1400 years ago. It's the night of Ashura. You see people leaving the camp of Imam Hussein in their hundreds and thousands. For a split second, your eye falls on the face of Imam Hussein and you decide there and then that you're going to stay. Knowing full well tomorrow, you're going to fight in the war or participate and lose your life. Now the morning of Ashura comes, you've become Abu Talib, the 73rd companion of Imam Hussain Now imagine the Imam turns around and says to you, Abu Talib, you can help me in any way you like, whether it's to get water with Abu Fadl al-Abbas salam, whether it's to bring back the bodies of the fallen ones, whether it's to guard the tents of the women and children, whether it's to stand in front of the Imam in Salat, it's completely up to you. Where would you like to participate and volunteer your services? Wherever I could uh, put myself at the bottom of the rank, so I could do the, 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 the worst job just to serve the best. What, what do you think the worst job would be in that situation? If it's guarding Imam Hussein's horse or being a shield for him, so I just, you know, give away what I most valuable have and it's my life just so I can have Imam Hussein for myself and make him happy for a follow of him. Okay. Now imagine you, you've gone to work one day you've come home, you open the door, you see your family running around frantic. Everyone's, someone's preparing fruit, someone's preparing food, drinks, etc. You've got guests at your house. So you walk in home and you ask your dad, your mum, what's going on? They say, someone's come to see you, Abu Talib. You say, who, where is he? How can I see him? Say he's waiting in the living room. So you go, you open the door to the living room. And you see in the living rooms Imam Hussain sitting there waiting for you. In that moment, what would you say to him? What would you want him to say back to you? What would you talk about? You see the silence we just had right now? I'd have the same silence. I'll just... Uh... Look at his shadow, I won't have the toughness to look at him personally, just look at his shadow because <sighs> Imam Hussain is a very big topic to me. He's not just uh, the person we say he is, it's not just Imam Hussain, no. Well, I say it personally because I feel I have a very strong relationship with Imam Hussain, especially serving Imam Hussain. So, uh, I won't have the toughness to look at him personally. I'll have, I just look at his shadow and I think that would be like too much of a treat for me to look at his shadow. What would you want to hear from him? And what would you be happy with if he was to turn around and say something? What would you want it to be? What would you be expecting to hear? Would you want to hear, I've accepted you? Would you want to hear, I'm happy with you? I just really want him to say that I was embassy for him in this world, which I try to be. And I actually represented and presented what he taught and what he fought for. And it's the true Islam, and it's the Salam that our religion is named upon. Roughly now, there's about 50 days left to Ashura and with hindsight it might be easy to say the events that took place, knowing the events that took place, you know, maybe I could have stopped this from happening or I could have prevented that from happening or I could have made a difference within this particular aspect and a lot of us often forget that our 12th Imam is among us and in a way him being 
physically absent from us has given us the opportunity or choice to be able to serve him in any way we see fit. So what do you think you've done for the 12th Imam? What do you think he deserves from you? How do you think he feels about you? Given that on that day, Imam Hussain had at least 72 companions with him, how many does this Imam have? Well, uh, I tried to learn from uh, Imam Hussain's companions and see how loyal they were to Imam Hussain and how they served Imam Hussain. Although their, their time and period and their generation and their uh, technology and their conditions are different than today's conditions. So I try to um, advertise and present Islam and the 12 Imams in the best possible way, spread the peace and love that they taught and uh, make people aware that you know he's still there and he's still coming and he's still you know gonna grab you know I don't know how to say he's, he's gonna come and uh, pick up Imam Hussein's uh, flag you know really bright and high so he can show the rest of the world that you know although there's so much corruption Although Islam has been spread in such a negative image, although there are so many haters to Islam, Shiaism, haters to Ahlul Bayt, um, he will actually prove the true Ahlul Bayt. And how I can uh, be one of his followers, I don't know, I try to be uh, as religious as possible, as possible, be polite, be giving, be thankful, be peaceful, help. And uh, try to follow some of the ahadith that have been written and say um, doing these acts or acting on such specific ways will uh, faster the process of Imam Mahdi actually coming as a saviour to us. Oh, God.